Today I'm going to be going over how to manage data that you have uploaded to Farm Server. To get to where you can manage data in the Farm Data section, click the Farm Data on the left or Farm Data at the top of the page. You will then click the View Previously Uploaded Farm Data link under the Upload Your Data button. If you have data that needs managed that you have recently brought in, there will be a box at the top with a number in it. A few of the main reasons would be that there is no boundary at all or for that year for the data or we cannot find a crop type or operation for that data. If you click the manage data in that box, it will walk you through field by field with what the issue is and any that you fix will save and automatically process and you will then be able to view that data. The first one I come to is missing a boundary. I notice that this is a field that I must have forgot to put a boundary in for. By clicking on the polygons that make up that field, the CLUs will not always match the crop boundaries exactly. In this case, the CLU polygons make up more than the desired area. You can edit these to match the crop boundary by clicking the Edit Field Boundaries on the left. You can then move the points to the desired position. If you click any of the white dots and move them, they will create more dots. More dots will allow you to get the boundary more exact. For this example, I'm not going to take the time to make them exact, but in a real instance, I will zoom in and try to get the boundary as close as I could. If you do have boundaries from RTK signal, those are definitely preferred. Once you have a boundary done, name the farm and field and save it with the button below. There are many of these that are missing a boundary. I'm going to skip through those for now. The next problem I come to is some data points without a boundary. These are data points that are erroneous and are spread out and do not belong to any of my fields. In cases like this where you have points that you don't need that are outside of a boundary or erroneous, you can delete these by clicking delete this data on the left. The next issue I come to is where a field doesn't have a boundary for 2015, which is the year I have data for, but I do have a boundary in 2016. This gives me the option to copy that 26 boundary to the 2015 year by clicking Yes, Copy to 2015. You can continue doing these steps until you have fixed all of your issues, or you can use the Skip Save for Later button and come back later to fix those issues. You can also click Close in the upper right and Finish Later. You can always manually manage files one by one that need fixed. You can find these files in the list because they will be grayed out and in the status column say needs assistance and to the right of that will be a button that says manage. If you click manage it will bring you to a page saying what the issue is. Here are some more points that are outside of boundaries that I have and I just want to delete them. Here is one that needs the crop type set. It will come to a page and ask for the crop type. You can click the drop down and choose the crop type for the field and then hit save. It will start processing that data to the field then. You can also reprocess data at any time for examples like when you edit the boundary of a field by clicking the advance button then clicking the check boxes to the field you wish to reprocess. These will take a little while to finish reprocessing. You can also delete individual fields of data by clicking the same advanced tab and then clicking the checkbox to the right of the fields. And then click delete at the top. If you ever want to bring back data that you have deleted in this section, you can click the show deleted box at the top and it will show all of your deleted data. These will show under status column as archived and to the right a recover button to bring them back. 
You can also use the search function to find farms or fields in the list by starting to type their names. For more information, visit farmserver.com or email support.